Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be installing Rust Desk on our server. And first, let's start with what is Rust Desk. It's an open source remote control alternative to Team Viewer. It allows you to remote desktop a lot of different devices. In fact, that's one of the reasons that I like it so much is it works on pretty much every platform. If I scroll down here, you can see it works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and Web. So pretty much every platform you can think of. And it's open source and it's self-hostable. So we're going to install it on the server and then I'll show you how it works. Let's click on self-hosting link here. And then like with many of our other services, we're going to be using Docker to set this up. Down here you can see we're given a Docker Compose file. We're going to copy this and then SSH into our server. And this is where I store my Docker config files and data. It makes backing everything up easier. So we're going to create another directory just for Rust Desk. And then CD into it, alt period, we'll use your last command argument. And then we're going to create the compose file. We'll just paste it in here and then we'll take a look and see if there's anything that we need to change in it. This all looks good. The only thing I would change is the container names because HBBS and HBBR aren't really easily identifiable. And I might forget what those are in the future. One of these is the ID server and the other one is the relay server. So we're going to change that name so that we can identify that. We'll call this Rust Desk ID and Rust Desk Relay. Control S, Control Q, and then we can spin this up. And that should be it. That's all we need to do for our Rust Desk backend, but now we need to actually use it. We have to install some clients on our desktop, laptops, phones, whatever we want to use to remote control, and we'll be doing that next. But as far as the server is concerned, we're all done with this, so I'm going to log out, and then we're going to go back to the official page here and download the app. You can see it gives you links for the client for Windows, Ubuntu, Mac, and then you should have it available in your Apple Store for iOS and in the Play Store for Android. I'm going to install it on this desktop here. And I'm going to install it using Flatpak. So I'm just going to download this Flatpak file, save it to my desktop. And now Rust Desk is installed on my desktop. And next we'll open up the Rust Desk client. And you can see there is a message down here where it's connecting to the Rust Desk network. And it's given us a notification for a faster connection. Please set up your own server. Well, we've already set up our own server with that Docker Compose. And we just have to tell the client to use it now. We're going to click on the three dots here. And I'm going to just change it to dark mode right away. And then we're going to jump down to network and we're going to type in the IP address of our server here. And we want to type it in for the ID server and the relay server, then click apply. The other thing you might want to do is to set a permanent password. And that way you can use that password to connect to this desktop instead of using the one-time password, which it generates right here. Now I have it installed on my phone. I'm going to connect to my phone next, and that way you can see me remote control my phone from my desktop, and then I'll flip it and control my desktop from my phone. Now on the client of my phone, it has generated its own ID much like it has here on the desktop. So I type that ID in and then I hit connect. And then I can either hit accept on my phone right now. Otherwise, if there's not a user there to hit accept, this is where you can use your password. 
I'm just going to hit accept on my phone so I don't have to type the password in. And you can see I am now connected and able to remote control my phone from my desktop. There's also a chat feature here, so I can click text chat, send a message to my phone. And if I open back up into here, you can see the little chat icon. The chat dialog would show up on the phone in this manner. So that's connecting from my desktop to my phone. And you can see once you close out of it, you're going to have that information saved. So you can easily reconnect to that device in the future. Now let me connect from my phone to my desktop and control my desktop from the phone. It works basically the same way. I'm just typing in the ID of the desktop onto the phone, hit connect. Then I can type in the password or just hit accept right here. And you can see on my phone, I now have full control over my desktop. I'm moving my mouse around, using my finger on my phone. I could click on things. I can do whatever I want. I have the same ability. So it's a really great way to remote control different devices on your network. It's really great. It's open source. It's self-hostable. You have full control over it, and it's really easy to use with a client for pretty much every platform you could possibly think of. So thank you for watching, and as always, you have a nice day.